Hey guys, and welcome back to Minecraft with John. Um, Alright, so I've got a little explaining to do on this one. I really intended to keep this series very regular. Um, and then a few things happened. Uh, I went on like a three episode long caving trip. And then I watched it back when I was going to edit it. And it was boring as sin. Um... I mean, the caving itself wasn't, at least not to me, but I know not everybody likes caving, and to be honest, you know, there's only so much that's going to happen, and I didn't die or anything like that, and, um, I don't know, it was, my commentary was very boring too, so I just decided, you know what, I'm not going to put that up, and then I got into recording lots of other forms of Minecraft, um, but that leads us to now. This is a shorter episode, uh, I'm planning. You can see some of the loot that I got. I, I got a bunch of mine cards <laughs> from, uh, because it was a, it was an abandoned mine shaft. It was over there in that desert that we saw. Um, so I got a bunch of mine cart chests, uh, and I was keeping the mine carts. Um, and a bunch of iron, some gold, blah, blah, blah. Um, but, boo. Um, should point out, Shadow, oh yeah, he's got some friends. I was just rounding them up. But Shadow doesn't have the armor anymore that he had. Um, there was a glitch in one of the snapshots. Obviously now we're on the full version, but one of the snapshots that caused the armor to just disappear. Um, and so that happened. Um, can I undo just his leash? No, of course not. Uh, no, give me the... Dang it. Dang it all. Where did all the leads go? Here's some. Alright, you... I should make separate fence posts for them all. I know. And you. Is there another one? I don't think so. Alright. Um, well, wait. At least now you can take the armor on and off. So that's a cool thing. Um, let's try the gold. I've actually not used that. Um, but yeah, so you're not, like, stuck with it if you don't like it. Ooh, that actually looks awesome. Sweet. Alright, anyway. Uh, so we're gonna head over here, and you'll see that I've been building something. Um, this... This is the first of the stables. Um... I wanted to go with a very... Uh, you know, heavy-duty, old-fashioned, rustic style, because obviously we're doing the medieval thing. Also, I've come to realize that Shadow is actually very slow compared to other horses that I've seen. I don't know if he's much of a jumper, though. He seems like a jumper. <laughs> but watch way too much speed double. Actually, that's not possible. All right. Let's see. We'll go we'll go with 3. Can you jump on top of that Shadow? Yes, you can. That's not where I meant to place that. There we go. Alright, let's see. Can you jump four? Wait. Now I need to get full full gold. There we go. No, you can't. So he's probably three and a half. By the way. Oh, never mind. Takes too long when you're on the horse. Um, But anyway, yeah. So medieval. This is going to be the um, common stables. I uh, decided that there should be two. There should be one for the royal horses. Um, and this is going to be just for everyone else. So we have a doorway here. And these are not only to to partially block that opening, but enable me to walk through without taking damage. Because they're a transparent block or whatever. So I can walk through without hurting myself. And it's easy to get the horse through. Um, so yeah, here I was just trying out different, um, 
different flooring ideas and I really don't know um, here I don't want you wandering off getting stuck in the water or something um, I really don't know what to go with here um, actually also another option would be that um, so I'm looking at it this way. I mean, cobblestone. It makes sense for like pathways and stuff in medieval towns, but would it really be the flooring for the stables? Probably not. Uh, hardened clay, not a bad idea, but I'm not sure. Gravel kind of makes sense, but I don't know. The sandstone I was thinking would give the sense of like maybe a sawdust floor, but then again, this would probably make more sense. However. My thought was, also, um, can I reclaim this? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Um, my thought was, what if we did something kind of random with it, like that? No, that's ugly. Alright, so, uh, I don't know about... The wheat floor thing just seems too contrasty. So what do you think? I think I'm kind of between the hardened clay and the sandstone. These two just seem too rough. So give me your thoughts on that. Um, But yeah, then we're going to have stalls. And I'm going to bring all these horses in that I can. And... Um, oh my gosh. Uh, and then... you know, have them all in their spots. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's what's going on there. That's all the progress that I've made because I've been busy with so many other things. Um, as far as all this goes, I'm still planning on doing the castle up here, I think. What I'm thinking is... I still think it would be great to just kind of maybe cut that jutting part off and kind of level it out and have the castle like up in this type of a deal and then have some other things dotted about kind of making its way around and then into this main village area and then either here or here I'm thinking actually separate from the castle have Merlin's tower I think that would be awesome um, you guys aren't tamed. Are any of these guys faster than Shadow? No offense. Shadow's still... Still my horse. I named him and I can't take that back. But I'm just curious. Are these guys tamed? I can't... I don't really know. Actually, I don't feel like undoing those leads again, so never mind. Um, but anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so that's, that's where that stands. Give me some thoughts on the flooring. The hardened clay or the sandstone. I don't think the other two look quite right. I think the pathways will all be cobblestone. Maybe maybe in the more uh, run-down areas have gravel dotted in the cobblestone to simulate the ground breaking up a bit. That would be kind of cool. And like, like out in these areas, there's just going to be like little, sh little shanties, little huts, and little, little dumpy houses. But as you make your way through into the main part of town, the houses are going to be nicer. And then as part of the royal area, there's going to be really cool looking little houses. And of course the castle itself. Um, I'm going to do a lot of research on medieval stuff and really get the, the looks down the way I want. And uh, yeah, oh, I also have a wheat farm back here now. I wanted to make it kind of natural looking, so I added that waterfall type of deal. And put the weed all around it. There's also a couple of other things. Potatoes and carrots. But, um... Yeah, anyway. Oh, don't fall in there. <laughs> um, so yeah. That's, uh, that's where we stand with this stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and make his a separate one. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and cut the episode off here. Uh, this episode might be paired with something else. I'm
it's also possible that it I'm not gonna have time to upload both so we'll see <laughs> I hate making promises that I can't keep but it's not really my fault I promise uh, but anyway so yeah thank you for watching I'll see you next time for more and um, I still do not have diamond that is that is a big problem I'm gonna have to start mining or something like a mine shaft deal because I need an enchanting table. Look at the levels, man. I haven't died. <laughs> uh, anyway. So, yeah. See you next time for more. Bye.